Maluya Salvi. Wanda shall never end. You are a hater. You hate my success. Thunder fire you. Thunder fire that your mouth. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another comic interview with Danny Tuamon. Uh, today I'm having a musical uh, legend from South Sudan. Uh, but first, before we move on with the interview, please hit that subscribe button on your right hand side. And don't forget to click on your notification to notify you whenever we upload a new video. Uh, click that like button if you find this interview interesting, of which I know it is. Leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you really like it. Share it with your friends too if you feel like. Thank you so much if you have done all those. Now we're good to go. Uh, musical agent, greet your people. Hey, yo, what's up everybody? How you doing? What's the first thing you would like to tell them? I want to say welcome to everyone who's right now here with us. I remain your boy Silver X, the music machine, a South Sudanese born superstar, homemade for import and export. Before we go deep to our interview, what is the music? Music is a universal language, you know? That's why it's, it's the only means we have sometimes when we're crying, we need music. When we're happy, we need music. You know, when we're sad, we need music. Like, music applies in every single beat, every single space of our lives. You understand, from childhood, when the baby is born, people are celebrating, they play music. When you're, you know, when you're married, people play music. When you die, people play music. Like, music is in every single, you know, sequence of our lives. So, As we know, this is going to be a tough one. Do you suggest viewers to take drinks? Welcome, I'm on, I'm on some drips. You can have yours one. So <laughs> calm down your anger in case you, you get angry because some of the things are really pissing up. Okay, thank you. Let me take mine. I guess you, somebody watching there, you have taken your drink because the musical legend has told us to do so. Silver, honestly, has South Sudan music grown? First and foremost, the South Sudan music without some of us, it would not have been what it is right now. Now tell us what is the center of our discussion today? This is the main thing. I think a couple of, maybe a few months ago, uh, we had a trans season of uh, leadership of the South Sudan Artist Union, which to me existed like some years, really some years back. But today we'll take you through a bit of it, like how all it started and all this, you know, up to where it is, then where it was left and then how other people came in to take here and there, you know. Why was the union formed? To govern, you know, the entertainment industry, majorly musicians. All right, do other countries have it? Maybe other countries have it, but how they operate it probably is different from how ours is run, you understand? What does the entertainment industry consist of? In the industry, let me just break this point, like in the industry, like we have musicians, we have comedians, we have MCs, we have uh, presenters, we have uh, even organizers, the promoters, and probably we have, uh, let me say, the, uh, the, the venues, you know, like the clubs. Why are the artists complaining of the new union regulations? The main reason, like many artists are complaining, is about the taxes, you know? I hear the union is coming up with some things, be like, artists should pay money, they should, you know, they should be taxed what exactly should be taxed since most of our artists are broke i don't know what is going to be taxed is it their blood is it their i don't really understand apart from taxing artists what else does the union say that you find funny and irrelevant artists are going to be scrutinized like bada the killing the like you know care care you know get they have the survival lisa you know like under dugu dura be 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 funduk those years, so like under Murkaka, Santa Vitalo, like again, you know, like uh, properly grinded. Is it that that day? It has to be I'm only okay, okay, yeah. So music has to be done like that before you go to the studio to <laughs> to record and to register and have IDs. IDs for for what? For food? I don't understand. Like because I remember, like we had these IDs when the refugee comes those years, like. You go give your ID and so you can get some food. So I don't know what this really, you know, means. 
Were you part of the union? I wasn't part of the union. Silver, please don't lie. Completely. Okay, why? It's me, I just I grew up from my start like just like that, Silvex, and that was it. How many bodies were formed? There were two bodies. Were those unions really meant to help the artists? It wasn't meant to actually help the artist as such. None of them was meant to help the artist and none of them benefited the artist. So whom did the union benefit? It only benefited individuals. I heard that the union later collapsed. Why? The union stayed broke throughout. What do you think about musicians, oppress, government officials and some British individuals? They don't know nothing to do with the music we do. They don't know nothing with the music we do. Completely. Is it right for someone else to control one's content? Nobody's supposed to control you on your content, on your creativity, on your art. If you're a comedian, if you're a musician, if you're, if you're, if you do arts, you know, you understand? Nobody's supposed. If you're an MC, if you're a presenter, nobody's supposed to control your art. Is it a must to join a union? It's not a must. I'm telling this to you. It's not a must. And once you are not part of the union, the union has no right over you. You have really talked a lot and I guess you must be thirsty. Take some drink. Ah, thank you. Uh, now let's get back to how you made it to be who you are right now. For the past 10 years, we have been still struggling, begging radio presenters, radio stations, let me say, to play our music. Have you ever sung a song praising anybody? Some of us are not this kind of artists who, go, who sing about praising names, the political names or the political allies or those money, money banks. No, we do our music strictly to the people. Oh man, uh, I'm planning to go to the studio and sing a song about a child where uh, this year I've decided to drive a Lamborghini on the street of Juba. Wow, that's when I did and say one that shall never end. Manu Yasabi. One that shall never end. You are a hater. You hate my success. Thunder fire you. Thunder fire that's your mouth. No way. No way. No way. I must drop a hit about her and... But wait. How did you manage to control Jupa musically in those days? I was the one taking my music personally to the... I take it to Konyo Konyo. Okay. I give to all the computer places. Okay. I take it <laughs> to custom. I give to all the computer places, I take it to Jebel, I take it to Munuki. That was it? That was how we promote this music. You just press cover up your head. You go, I hide the music that's Silvex. That was Silvex, they take it. Place your phone properly or else I will end this interview right now. Yep, there are so many I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Ustaz Tadunia, honestly speaking and musically speaking, I am better than you by far. Hell no. Hell no. You Silver X, Musical Machine, Ustaz Tadunia, now that I've interviewed you and so many people have known you, what are you going to say? I appreciate this, I appreciate this. I said it.